Hey everybody, I have officially survived the first day back in the classroom. You would think I'm a first time teacher. I'm actually celebrating my 10th year in the classroom. And looking back at the 10 years, I cannot express how grateful I am for all of the experiences that I've had, the good, the bad, and the not so ugly. You know, it's truly wonderful to see the kids today. Um, they greeted us with such enthusiasm. And it's really at that moment you realize, you know, wow, this is what this is about. It's about um, generating that energy, um, sharing that common, you know, you have common goals with your kids. And it was just a very good um, and positive vibe at work today. And I really, really like that. I wanted to, well, I'm actually going to make a series of videos for you guys, um, but I wanted to start off with tips for a science teacher, because that's my background. I'm a chemistry teacher, and I can only speak in that context. Um, so I wanted to share with you some tips for the first day of school, especially for those of you who are transitioning into teaching, or you have less than two years experience in the classroom. I know the first day always feels like the first day ever and I hope these tips actually help you as a science teacher. So what can I tell you? Um, our kids, you know, the first day of school, they're so overwhelmed with um, emotions. They are happy to see each other, uh, their girlfriends, <laughs> boyfriends. Um, they're also very um, anxious, you know, they're worried about their uh, the schedules and they are just all over the place. You know, I have had kids who did not even know how to find my classroom, even if they knew where my classroom was because of the many meetings that we had in my classroom. So they are back and they're flustered, but it's our job to, um, you know, to make the kids feel welcome. So one thing that I do is that I stand by my door I've been doing that every year, every day, for the most part, for the last 10 years. And I would greet my kids. I would, you know, give them a very warm welcome, good morning, good afternoon. Um, some of them, they like, uh, you know, giving you a little hug, so I'll do that. And, um, you know, just, you know, give them a pleasant smile and make them feel like they're welcome in the classroom. And really, that's what you want. You want the kids to feel like they're going to a place where, um, you know, yes, it's, there's learning, but they're also gonna be comfortable and they're also gonna be safe with that person. Um, as a science teacher, I kind of like to um, switch things around. So as soon as the kids walk in, I would actually start right off with a demonstration. I have done a number of demonstrations. Uh, this year alone, I actually did two demonstrations. Um, the whoosh bottles and the um, dissolving of styrofoam in acetone. And in previous years, I've done um, Alka-Seltzer rockets and I can't remember, but the point is, you know, as a science teacher, I want to make sure I capture their attention. I generate that curiosity. I give them a little taste of what the class is about. And it's just a very good place to start the discussion, the scientific discussion, the academic language. Um, after I would have done that, I would, um, probably interject with some icebreakers because, you know, remember, I still do not know the names and I have not touched on the sil syllabus or anything like that. As a matter of fact, I leave the syllabus and the documents for the next day. Okay. Because, you know, on the first day of school, the kids are getting so much and I'm, tr you know, I try my best to not overwhelm them instead. The approach that I take is one where I kind of capture them, get their attention, make them curious about what um, science or chemistry is about, and that has been working pretty well for me. Um, I do, however, send home their lab contracts because, you know, at the same time, I would probably have two labs scheduled for that very first week of school. So I'm the kind of teacher I kind of like to just, you know, just get straight right into it, okay, right into whatever content we should be covering. I'm gonna look over to my notes for a second. Um, as 
for science in general, um, you always want to make sure you have a plan. Um, people always think, you know, teachers are, you know, the smart, they know their content, but um, any teacher, any honest teacher would tell you if you do not have some sort of, of plan in place, you're definitely going to um, fail for that day. So you always want to make sure you have a plan and a backup plan because sometimes things do not work out the way you want, want them to. And then, um, you know, finally, I, I would strongly suggest setting very clear expectations. Now, even if I do not um, touch on the syllabus, I do not talk about grading or anything like that on day one, I, I make sure I set very clear expectations from day one. Um, we know that habits are hard to break and I want my kids to develop those habits where, you know, they're following classroom norms, they're getting used to the classroom procedure and that really sets the tone for the rest of the year and um, it makes your life a lot easier as a teacher when you set very clear expectations. And um, you know, throughout all of this, it's, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, even after 10 years, you know, day one actually feels like my very first day in teaching. It's, you know, you get different kids. It is so stressful because so many things are going on that day, but um, I would say to be positive, be yourself. Do not be afraid to show a little bit of personality on day one. I remember when I started teaching, because I was new to teaching here, I, you know, I, 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 I was told, you know, to not, do not smile before December. And I don't think that was a good idea. Um, I, I quickly changed that maybe as of my second year teaching in the United States, I changed that and um, I found that my experience was a little bit more um, easy going from then on but you want to make the kids feel like they're um, welcome in your class and that you're approachable um, you're not there to be their friend but you know you you also have to make them feel comfortable in your classroom so there you have it have a plan have a backup plan um, smile and greet your kids um, I would keep, I would send home the laboratory contracts as a science teacher, but I will talk about grades and everything else the following day because they're getting so much on day one from the other classes. Um, and I would definitely, definitely do some sort of um, demonstration. If it's the one thing, the one thing I would say to do is some sort of uh, demonstration because um, it's a good place to generate conversation. It's a good place to start the academic language in the classroom and um, it's just a good way for the kids to kind of understand that that's the sort of tone you want in your classroom. So I hope this helps for your first day. Of course all the other obvious things, be professional, <laughs> dress professional, um, but do not forget to smile and do not forget to be yourself and um, I hope these help and I appreciate you viewing. Do not forget to comment. If you have some suggestions, please share them with me. I'm always open to learning. And um, of course, subscribe and share. Bye guys, and have a happy and successful academic year. Bye.